Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> now I hope you like the pictures I've just shown you of Mutley with this little baraclava on. I'm going to show you how to do this little baraclava. It's really quite easy. The surprising thing is for most people is where the ear holes are because when the dog's ears are on this top part goes over the top of the dog's head and then he's got the other ear so the thing that you'll have to do for your dog is you measure up to under the dog's ear i've got one two three i've got four rows you might only need three or you might need more if you've got a bigger dog you might need more stitches around the neck and you may need a wider gap around your for under going under your dog's chin now, if you want this for a child, you can follow this for a child as well. I will put another tutorial on without the ear hole if you want, if you leave a little comment. But you can follow along with this tutorial and just don't do the ear hole. Just continue your rows up and you can make this for a child as well. The bigger the hat, then obviously for the bigger the person. You can do it in all different colours. I've used a double crochet stitch. In the UK, this is a double crochet. And then if you're in the USA, this is a single crochet stitch. You can use a treble crochet or if you're in the USA, a double crochet. You can use any stitch you want. This is really easy. It's quite simple. And the little rib stitch around the bottom is nice and stretchy. So it's not going to choke or strangle your dog. And as you saw from the pictures of Mutley, it's, it's really quite fun and it's nice and warm, especially for the winter. used Karen Simply Soft. Now, you can get this on Amazon. This is where I buy it. I buy mine on Amazon and I get a pack of three. I'm going to do a slip knot and I just wrap that around my fingers like this and push through and then pull that loop. The other way to do it is I wrap it around my fingers like this. You can put your hook through and then just pull it and do the same thing. But you do your slip knot whatever way you want on your crochet hook. So I've got my slip knot on and I've got enough tail to stitch in. So I'm going to crochet a chain of 46. You can do a part of the collar and then try it around the dog's neck to see if it's going to slip on. You don't want it too slack. So that way, if you only do a couple of rows, then pop it over the dog's head to see how easy it is. But you don't need it. You don't want it too big. So I'm going to do a chain of 46. One, two, three, four. Do it quite loose. You don't need it too tight. So I've got 46 stitches. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an extra two stitches. This will be classed as your first treble crochet. Now I'm going to treble crochet into the third chain in my hook. So just do a treble crochet into the third chain of your hook. So those ones we miss will become our first treble crochet and then we've got that one, that's our second treble crochet. We're going to treble crochet all the way to the end. So one treble crochet into each stitch all the way to the end. One and two. All the way along to the end. Now once I get to the other end, I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I've got my stitches all done. I've got my treble crochet all the way to the end of my chain. Make sure you have an even number of crochet stitches. If you're in the USA, this is a double crochet stitch. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to keep that tail because you'll need it to stitch this together. So I'm going to bring it around. And I'm going to join it on the top of that chain there. Just push it through like that. Get your working yarn round. And we're going to do what's called a slip stitch. Put your yarn over and pull it through 
that stitch and through that stitch. Now we're going to use the little tail to stitch this up. We'll do that later. What you're going to do now is we're going to chain three. One, two and three. That class is your first treble crochet. So into this next stitch, we're going to go yarn over and we're going to do a treble crochet behind that post. We're going around that post. This is called a front post crochet stitch. Yarn over, you've got three loops on your hook, through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. It pulls it forward like this. The next one, yarn over, we're going to go behind it this time. Go in through the back, pull your yarn through, and this is going to create your rib stitch. One will be pulled to the front, one will be pulled to the back. So what we're doing is we're creating this stitch here like this. It's going to be like a rib stitch. So the next one, yarn over, we're going to work the front. So we'll go from the front and have work around the post on the front of your hook. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Put your yarn over. The next one, we're going to do a back post stitch. So we're going to bring the hook in from the back and work around that post, work around the stitch that way. Pull your yarn through, yarn over, through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. So in through the back. So we're doing one at the front and one at the back. Yarn over and we're doing a front. And yarn over and we're going to do a back. We're going to do that one to the front and one to the back all the way around until you get to that chain there. So pause the video, work around your loop till we get back to this chain and I'll show you what to do next. Now you can see the V shape. What you're going to do is you're going to pick up that part of the V and the other side of it as well. And through the top, of your chain of three, pull through and pull through to join. So that becomes your back stitch. So you've got a front stitch, your chain becomes a back stitch and your next, one, your next one's a front stitch. So what we're going to do now is we're going to continue with that. So chain three, one, two and three. Now this stitch is standing proud to the front, so that's going to be a front post stitch and this one is going to be a back post stitch. So yarn over and work around the post part of that stitch. Yarn over and we're going behind for the next one. Just like we did on that previous row, yarn over, front because it's proud to the front. And this is what's going to do your rib stitch. Then come in through the back for that next one. Pull your yarn through, yarn over through two loops and through two loops. Yarn over front post, yarn over and round the back to do the back post. So I'm going to continue with my one front post and my one back post. It'll look the same on either side. 
as you go around and I'll come back and show you what to do next. A hoop is with your last stitch, just from your last stitch, count six back one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now in the seventh stitch, no, put it in the sixth stitch. So in the sixth stitch, put your marker. This is going to be the gap under the baby's chin or the dog's chin, whatever you're using your little your little baraclava for, that's going to be the bit that's underneath the chin. Now we're going to do two rows of double crochet. If you're in the USA, that's single crochet. So for double, I'm going to chain two, one and two. I'm only going to chain two. Now into each stitch along here, I'm going to put one double crochet. So there's no yarn over with a double crochet. You just go through the top of the stitch, pull your yarn through, you've got two loops, put your yarn over and come through those two loops. Through the top of the stitch, you can see the stitches up here at the top. Pull your yarn through, two loops, over and through, through the next stitch, all the way around to the stitch just before that marker. We're going to do two rows of your single crochet. Once you get to there, you'll chain two and work back to this side. And I'll show you this picture of one that I previously made. So I'm going to do four rows, I'll do my chain of two, I've done my, no, I'll do my chain of two and then I'm going to do four rows of my double crochet. If you're in the USA that is a, that's a single crochet. So I'm going to do four more rows and I'll come back and show you how to shape the holes for the dog's ears. Now, as you can see, what I did was, when I put it on Mutley, I, I made sure my last row was just under his ears. Now, a lot of people think, yeah, the big part of a dog's ears flat, but the part that's actually <laughs> attached to his head isn't. It's a little bit thicker. So you need to make your space so that the, whole, the dog's ear can come out, not just the flappy bit of the dog's ear, so that the sort of thicker part that's actually attached to its skull um, comes out the hole just a little bit. So on the picture, I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you'll need to do this with your dog. I've counted eight stitches in. And I'm going to put a clip. And then I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six into the seventh stitch that's here. I'm going to put another clip. I'll do the same at the other side. You can use a little piece of yarn if you want. If you don't have a clip, then just stick a little piece of yarn in. So into that sort of seven space, I'll just put a little piece of yarn over like this. Just pull it through. That marks that stitch and I'll do the same there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So and into the seventh one there, I'll put another marker in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So into the seventh one. Because I need a gap of six. So I'm going to show you how you can do the holes for the ears on your dog. First you've got to work out, once you've done this part up to the bottom of their ear, you've got to work out how how big their ears are and how far around from their face that is. So in general, I'm doing six here and then I'm having a gap of six. I'll work my way around the back 
and I'll have a gap of six and then I'll crochet these six. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I've crocheted my two crochets and I'm going to do my single, I'm going to do my double crochets along to that first pin that I've got in there. If you're in the USA, this is a single crochet. And in the UK, it's a double crochet. So I'm going to crochet along to my first pin. So I'm not going to do that stitch. So I'm going to crochet into the same stitch where that pin is. Now I'm going to chain two, one and two. Now that, that's going to give me the gap that I need for the thick part of the dog's ear that's actually attached to his skull. Now I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. So I'm going to crochet another six. One, two, three, four, five and six. Then I need another two to bring me down. One, two. So I've done ten in all. So once it's attached down to there, it's going to leave a wide enough gap like this. I will crochet right across the top of there, but it's going to leave a nice gap. So I'm going to crochet into this next peg. Just do my double crochet. I can take the peg out and I can take this one out. If you're doing this for your own dog, then you'll be able to take a little bit of time to get it. So I'm going to double crochet around to my next marker. So I've crocheted around to my other marker. Just do one into that space. So again, I'm going to chain two for the height and six because I've missed six gaps and two for this other, the height on this other side. So I'm going to do two. I'm doing ten all together. That's two for the little height to get his ear in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because so I'm going to chain two and that'll keep it even at this side. I'm going to do a single crochet, a double crochet into this gap and I'm going to go all the way along with my double crochet. All the way along to the end. And to each stitch. And to the top of that chain of two. So I'm going to chain two, one, two and turn. So this is what we've got. This is going to be the holes to put the dog's ears through. These holes. They do look as if they're going to be a little bit big, but you've got to make sure that the top, I'll show you again, if you look at the top of Muttley's head, you've got to make sure that that thick part of their ears comes through that hole. So just do my double crochet along to the first chain so I'm along to the first chain so I'm going to put one single crochet into each stitch in my chain might be a bit fiddly
and this is going to make the holes for the ears. Try and go right through the middle, just the way you do when you're doing your crochet chain for a foundation. Right at the start, go through. Make sure you're picking up two parts of that stitch. And then we're going to do our double crochets all the way along to the other chain. So I'm going to double crochet all the way along to the other chain and again I'm going to pick up 10 stitches, one into each link in this chain and then double crochet to the end. Now we'll do that and I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I've worked my way over those two chain spaces that I made. I'm going to chain two, one, two, and turn my work around. And I'm just going to work back and forward, around and around, until my little baraclava is going to go up over the top of Mutley's head. I'll take another picture of that just to give you a rough idea of what I mean. It is a little difficult when you're talking about a dog of where where it's going to go. So this is the little baraclava nearly finished. Now the surprise you're really going to get is how far down the ear holes are. So you've got to imagine that this is going to be over the top of the dog's head like this. So the, his ears are going to be down there. Lots of people imagine that the dog's ears are going to be right up here. If they're right up here, there's no room when the hat is over the top of the dog's head. That's why you have to measure when you've done the neck for the dog to where its ears are going to be. Once I've got this finished and sewn together, I'll take a picture and I'll show you with Mutley with it on. And this is where Mutley's ears are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a single crochet all the way around the edge, all around the front that's going to be around his face. I'm just going to pick up some stitches. I'll do one crochet and then I'm just going to pick up a stitch off of each row that I've done and through make sure it's not too slack all the way around the edge of my little baraclava So once I've got that done, and that's going to make the edge all nice and neat around Mutley's face, I'm going to turn it inside out. And I'm just going to stitch along the very top of the hat. You can follow the instructions for this. Don't put the ear holes in. Do the same amount of rows. The rows that I did up here, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I've got 9 rows from that ear space up. Just keep measuring it against your dog's head. Then we're going to stitch closed the top. We'll turn it back in the right way around. It, it doesn't really matter what way you, you stitch it in. Both sides are exactly the same. So the inside and the outside is exactly the same. So I'm going to continue around with my single crochet. Then I'll stitch down the top. I'll stitch it down and I'll come back and show you what it's like. I'll take a few pictures of it on Mutley's head and I'll put them on as well.
So as you can see, it's really surprising how far down you have to put these ear holes in this little bar of clava. I did a blue one of these and it doesn't have any holes in it. So this is the first one that I, that I did for Muttley. There's no ear holes in this one. But this is what they look like without the ear holes. And you can make these for little boys, even nice pink ones for little girls. But this is the one for the dog. And as you saw from the pictures with Muttley on it, it's nice and thick and warm. And his ears can still come out. It helps to hold it on to his head. Give this little hat a try for your pet if you've got a dog. And you can make it bigger for, for bigger dogs. You can do follow all the instructions for it, but don't do the holes. And that way it becomes a baraclava for a child. And here's a little picture of it on my doll. So this is the same baraclava done the same way, but I've just not put the ear holes uh, into it. So if you see, if it's like this and it's actually, it's down, you wouldn't think it was for a dog. So you can make it for a child as well. You could even put a nice big red pom-pom on the end of there if you, if you like. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Just click on that subscribe button and then click on the little bell icon and you'll be notified when I post another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.